Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to go through a tour of my office and all of my equipment that I use to film my videos and edit them and all that stuff. Two things that you guys need to keep in mind. One, I am a full-time mom. So I am filming videos during nap time. And once I'm done filming and my son wakes up, I run out of here and this place is almost always a disaster. Two, I am a very disorganized and messy person. So this isn't gonna be a tour of, look how beautiful my office is and organized and you guys should love all this stuff. And it's not, this is, this is real life. And I actually just cleaned and organized as best as I could. So this is probably as clean and as good as it's gonna get or ever gotten. So it's not really about the tour of the space as much as it's a video about the equipment I use and that's about it. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so this is my office and my setup. I have a bunch of crap right there, um, but this is my desk and I have a bunch of stuff everywhere. This is kind of the angle that you see in my videos, ish. Um, my computer is on this side, my iPad's over there, my baby monitor. <laughs> and then I also have a laptop that is old. Um, and then there is my printer scanner. Um, I'm gonna take you through my equipment first to show you how I do this. So you would think I would get a lot of natural sunlight in here. And in the summer I do but the winter has been really gray. So I only had this overhead light for a while. And then my husband, who is a techie kind of guy, got me these ring lights, which are great. And I usually put them on either side of where I'm painting and it shines right down and gives me some natural sunlight. But because of the winter, it's been pretty gray lately. My husband just got me this light which I'm gonna to use too to make it even brighter. So I do have two ring lights and this one has an attachment where I put my phone. Um, I do all my filming on my phone, guys. I have an iPhone and I've been doing it on my iPhone since the beginning. So I just clip it in there and it clips into this little microphone thing so you can hear me a bit better when I'm doing my intros. And that's how I film my intros with the ring lights. So it makes me look a little bit more polished. <laughs> so two ring lights and then this overhead light, which I actually haven't used in a video until now. My husband just set it up for me. And then the way that I film my videos, what I had been using for the past, I don't know how many years it's been, three years, I guess, since I've been starting filming was this arm thing. Okay. So I'm going to be linking all of these products below just in case you're curious. And this just clamps onto my desk there. And then you put the phone in this little thing and you adjust it, you adjust it over your painting and you can paint like that. But like I said, my husband is a techie kind of guy and he just built this arm for me where I can put my phone here and it's directly over my painting because what was happening was I clamped that onto my desk here and I was painting with a big bar in front of me at all times. Now what you can do, or what I could have done was clamped it over that way and put it over but apparently I'm not that smart. Look at my <laughs> backsplash. That is custom made backsplash from watercolor, okay? <laughs> so yeah, so I used that arm thing for the longest time and now I have this arm thing and that is how I film my videos and the lights, okay? Lighting is very important. You want it to be bright. You don't want a lot of shadows. You don't want it to be dull. You want it to be, you know, pleasing to the eye. So that's some of my equipment. So another piece of equipment that I use sometimes is this, it's called a Gorilla Pod. I have my old phone attached to there right now, um, but it's pretty great. You can put it on your desk and get a different angle of your shots closer up. You can also have this like wrapped around your light if you have one or a chair leg and it just wraps easily and it's pretty great. And yeah, that's about all the equipment that I use for filming my actual videos, the lighting, the, you know, phone holders. And so you may be asking, why do I use my phone to film? Well, my phone is a pretty decent camera and it has since I've started, like I started with the iPhone a while ago 
and it's been pretty good to me. But I think the main reason I use it is because I do all my editing on my phone in iMovie. It is super simple and I can edit when I'm, you know, up in the playroom with my son. So that's why I use an iPhone, super easy to edit. And I will show you how I do that now. Okay, so here's the iMovie app that I actually use. Um, here, we'll go here to this one. And you can just throw in the videos from your phone. Okay, so here's like one with an intro, you just add the plus button, and then it just adds stuff. You can add text. See, there's text, you can increase the sound, you can delete parts, you can edit it, you can cut it. Then if you wanted to add some, let's see, oopsie. If you wanted to add some music, there's audio, there's music that you can add, you can do voiceovers, you can add photos, tons and tons of stuff you can do with this app. And it's really simple to use. And that is how I edit all of my videos. And then once I'm done editing my videos, I just airdrop them over to my computer and I upload them onto my channel like that. Also, I do use my iPad for, hi, for editing um, some photos and stuff like that too. I do a lot of stuff on Procreate for the thumbnails if I need to. Um, and I also, I'll show you my printer scanner. I don't use it for printing. <laughs> I used to, and but I don't find it's the absolute best. I would rather go to a print shop to get things printed off, but I have the Workforce Pro WF4630 and it's okay. I mean, if you can find a better scanner, go for it, but this is where I scan all my work and then I edit it on Photoshop and that's about it. So that's all the equipment I use. I do have my iPad and my Apple Pencil that I use often for you know, making my books and stuff like that and my scanner to scan all my work and my computer, but for my filming, I just use my iPhone, these lights, this arm to hold it, and that's about it. So I'm not sure if this video was interesting to you, but if it was, make sure you give it a like and subscribe, and if not, check out one of my other tutorials that you might like better. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will try and link all the information I have about these products that I do use, and that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.